Welcome to the State Television Company Western Armenia, broadcast for today. A Kurdish politician and a Turkish lawyer argue over the Armenian territories of Western Armenia, occupied by Turkey. Baku's actions endanger not only Armenian but also global cultural values. The sons of Western Armenia, Sergei Parajanov, the Treaty of Severus, a way to restore justice and reclaim the rights of Armenians. Long microbiolite was found in Lake Fana. What kind of problems do Ahalkalaki farmers face during harvest? Turkey started archaeological research in Ardahan without the permission of the government of Western Armenia. Kurdish politician and former MP Al Tanta had an argument with Afshin Hatipoglu, a lawyer of the Cadastral Department of the Archives of the Republic of Turkey. They argued over the Armenian territories of Western Armenia, occupied by Turkey. Admin Hatipoglu noted that half of those territories were taken from Armenians and given to Kurds. No one can deny this, he said. He emphasized that all the villages in the areas of Bitlis, Bingyol, Van, Diyarbakir, Agre, Mush, and Urfa are Armenian areas, which were emptied. All those territories were seized by the Kurds and given to the Turks, and they were given a certificate of ownership. The administrator added, the administrator noted that even the territory of the Arbekir airport belongs to Armenia and there is a court decision on this issue. He emphasized that after the Hamid massacres and the deportation of Armenians by the Turks, they took their lands from the Armenians and gave them to court. Those lands are not yours, he said. This dispute proves once again that even Turks are aware of the fact of genocide against the Armenians carried out by them, and they must accept that these territories belong to the Armenian people. The network of CSO for the protection of the rights of those forcibly displaced from Artsakh condemns the continuous destruction and vandalism of the cultural heritage of Artsakh by Azerbaijan. Prominent examples are the destruction of Shushis, Ghadan Chetsot Cathedral and Kanaj Jam Church, as well as the disappearance of Hudafarin Bright and Jura Cemetery. International humanitarian law protects cultural monuments during armed conflicts and the destruction of cultural heritage is considered a war crime. Despite the calls of international organizations, Azerbaijan continues to erase the Armenian cultural trace in Artsakh. The network calls for immediate intervention and prevention of this process, ensuring the preservation of the cultural heritage of Artsakh. This statement was opened on 20 September in 2024 by the Governing Council of the Network, which was established in March 2024 to strengthen the protection of the rights of forcibly displaced persons. In the cinema temple, there are images, light and reality, and the ruler of that temple was Sergei Parajanov. Those were words by Jean-Luc Godard while talking about Parajanov. Sergei Parajanov was one of the most exceptional personalities in the history of cinema and one of the famous film directors of the Soviet Union. His interest in esotericism and dedication to art shaped the vivid imagery of his film, due to which Parajanov gained international fame. Parajanov was born in Tiflis in an Armenian family. He was an artist whose soul in self-expression was not limited in cinema. He criticized the Soviet authorities sharply and openly, either by directly whipping them or by restoring to other, more subtle and creative forms of criticism. As a result of this persistent disobedience, Parajanov was regularly imprisoned and his scripts submitted for approval were rejected for dubious reasons. One of Parajan's most exceptional works is the film The Color of Pomegranates, which tells about the life of the Armenian Ashur songwriter, musician Sayatnova. He made two more films before his death. These were The Legend of Suram Fortress and Ashur Kharib. The Treaty of Severus signed in 1920 is an important basis in national and political struggle of the Armenian people. For the first time, it gained international recognition of the Armenian issue and tried to regulate the right of self-determination of Armenians living in the territory of the Ottoman Empire. Turkish Prime Minister Demand Farid Pasha, participating in the Paris Peace Conference, admitted that this government had committed crimes against Armenians. His conversion is important because it highlights the inhuman actions of the leadership of the Ottoman Empire. Pasha acknowledged that the Turks had committed massacres and enormous destruction in the territories under their control, affecting the international community. 
The non-implementation of the Treaty of Severs contributed to the restoration of the Ottoman Empire. Later, the Republic of Turkey, which continued its policy against its Armenian population until the present day. Jumali Birol, the president of the Upper Sea Public Union of Adil Jelvas, operating in the Adil Jelvas region of Bitlis, noted that they recorded the longest microbiolitis ever seen in Lake Fana. In Lake Fana, which is considered the largest lake in Western Armenia with an area of 3,712 square kilometers, new discoveries are made in terms of microbiolitis. Finally, microbiolitis found during sport diving with shed light on the Lake Van Basin. During potato harvesting in Arhalkalaki municipality, farmers face a number of problems. First, lack of labor force, unfavorable weather, conditions and difficulties in selling the crop. Lack of labor forces farmers to pay higher prices to harvest crops on time. In addition, imported potatoes from neighboring countries reduce the prices of local products, as a result of which farmers are unable to sell their potatoes at profitable prices. The Ministry of Culture and Tourism of Turkey, without the permission of the government of Western Armenia, launched the Archaeological Surface Research Project in the Ardahan region, the purpose of which is allegedly to document the caves and rock tombs in detail. However, these tombs belong to Western Armenia with their historical and cultural roots. Caves with the cross plan indicate that they were used by Armenians for religious purposes. Multi-story interconnected cave complexes are evidence that the art of rock carving and construction in medieval Ardahan reached its highest development due to Armenian masters. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.